Hey Steve, it's Bright Thursday and I miss vegetables. <laughs> Just kidding, no I don't. That would be crazy. Although I probably should eat more vegetables because my tummy kind of hurts. Anyway, time to make like a, uh, Oh, I don't know. I don't have a pun this week. Let's just start answering questions. Question one, does my faith need reassurance? At this moment, not really. This Holy Week and Pascha were just so graceful that I'm still soaring high on gratitude. Every year, my wife and I have some people over on Pascha Sunday to celebrate the resurrection, and it's always a joyful time, and this Sunday was no different. I was, however, struck by a different thought this year, something I hadn't realized in the past, that we were all gathered together because we all are hoping for the same thing. Everyone who came to our Pascha party had been with us at church 12 hours earlier in anticipation of the Lord's resurrection from the dead. We gathered in the church waiting for the Lord to rise because each of us felt that this is truly our only hope. I generally feel a sense of isolation, which I think is pretty common in our culture, but this Sunday, there was none of that. Just a group of people all gathered together hoping in Christ. The fact that we're all facing east, that we're all awaiting our salvation, awaiting the return of the King, this gives me hope to hang in there because I know I'm not alone. Question two, have I brought this need to God? I feel like this question is hard to answer because I didn't really have an answer for question one. In the past, however, I have felt a lack of support and friendship, which has made it hard to hang on to the Lord. There were times I even considered leaving my parish because of how lonely I felt. But over the last couple years especially, I have asked the Lord to surround me and my family with people who love him and who are looking for him. And I've also talked about it with my spiritual father who knows that this has been such a lack in my life and how it's made following the Lord really difficult sometimes. In recent days, however, I see how the Lord has been working to surround me with a group of people who are all mutually leaning on one another. I am so grateful that the Lord has heard me and is continually trying to form the people around me into his image because it does make it a lot easier for me to follow him when I can see him in them. Question three, have there been times in my life when I've experienced a sign? Well, I think so. Let me tell you about it. So anyone who knows me well enough would tell you that I have a hard time making decisions. I can't even decide what I want for dinner most days. And so when it was time for me to go to college, I was really struggling hard. I was torn between a school in Pennsylvania and Wheaton College. One night I was driving home from a friend's house and was stopped at a red light. I needed to decide where I was going by the end of the next day. And so I made a bold move. I asked the Lord for a sign. Now, I wasn't doing this to tempt the Lord or anything like that. I was just really lost and I needed help. So there I am, stopped at the red light, and I said, Lord, please, I just don't know what to do. I'm at the end of my rope. Please, give me a sign. And just as I said that, a big truck with the word Wheaton on it drove right in front of me across the intersection. Yep, it was a literal sign. But the next morning on my drive to school, I started rethinking it. As I was driving through traffic, I started talking myself out of believing that this was a sign. And so I prayed, okay, Lord, please, I don't know what to do with that. That was a coincidence, right? I mean, it was weird, but please help me. If it's your will, let me see where I need to go to school. And just as I prayed that, I realized that I was surrounded by trucks, all of which said Wheaton on them. I kid you not, this is what happened, and for me, that was it. I couldn't not go to Wheaton after that. Now, I don't believe that this is the way that things always should go, but I can tell you that for me, this is how it did go. This is still one of the weirder experiences of my life, and in a lot of ways, I'm still trying to make sense of it. All I know is that I'm glad that I went to Wheaton. It's been one of the most shaping experiences of my life. All right, Steve, that's all I got. I'll see you on Monday.